Welcome back to Next No Retiree. I'm Tammy E. And I'm without any makeup today, mainly because I thought I was going to just do this totally off camera, but then I decided I wanted to do an introduction. As you can see, I'm sitting in kind of a new set here where I'm sitting in my uh, new recliner and we're enjoying that. And I am babysitting today. So I'm just doing a quick little video while my grandson is quietly playing and enjoying himself. And um, I, that's what I've been doing. And so today I thought it would be a good week since I'm kind of busy this week to do a new game review. And so we're taking a look at um, a game called Royal Match, which you've probably heard about. So let's get started. Well, welcome to another Fun and Games Friday. And today we're taking a look at Royal Match. Royal Match is a matching game. Uh, these are the kind of things that will help break through in one point. Um, and uh, this is how the basic match is. And you try to get things to match across. And then they fall in line. Um, and it has other little icons along the way. Um, it's a basic, uh, it's a little like Tetris, but not exactly. You're um, getting things to kind of plink down. So in a sa sense, it's like Tetris, but not exactly. Uh, but it does remind me of it. Um, and then... You know, you get little things like, oh, well done in this little section, and so on. It's a fairly simple game. Um, some of those first things that I showed you, they'll clear away a little bit more of the board for you. And um, I don't know, if you like a lot of, uh, you know, it's a little faster paced than Tetris. It's not like as much skill, but there's sort of similar brain exercises that you do playing it. Um, I don't know. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give this maybe a 5. Um, it's something that you can do without a lot of thought. Uh, it's I don't know that it engaged me that much, really, personally, but I'm not a big gamer. You know, it has some cute graphics and so on, like the castle theme and that sort of thing going on for it but by and large I don't know I think there's a lot of hype about it um online that I don't know like I say it's not my favorite game at all but it's not the worst game I've ever played either but it's not one that I reach for and want to do a whole lot in fact I probably We'll be removing it from my home screen for right now because it's been about two or three months and I haven't really had any urge to play it. Of course, I'm doing a lot of other things besides playing games. That's just not my thing to do. I like a little more something that shows me that I've accomplished something and I don't know that I feel like I've accomplished anything when I played this game. You can pass your time. If you're bored someplace, you know, like if you're stuck at the doctor's office waiting and waiting and waiting or emergency room or something, waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe that's when it would be entertaining, but uh, at home I can find other things to do. <laughs> but again, you know, you're clearing away this board. Um, sometimes, you know, it's like some of these uh, little icons go a little faster um, some of them will blow up the whole board, you know, and you get extra points if it's set up okay. You know, it's, like I say, it's, I want to say it's like Tetris, but it isn't. It's kind of like, uh, you match and you have them go in. I can't think of a name. It, it's sort of like reverse Tetris, I, I'd say. Sort of, sort of, yeah. Anyway, so they have, like I say, some cute graphics, and those are some of the cute graphics that they have. And, um, you know, 
but I'd say it's just kind of a mediocre game. I'd almost give it a four. It's 4.5, how's that? <laughs> and you set goals, but I mean, it's really kind of more by luck than anything else. Just minimal skills required. Um, at least as far as I can see. And, you know, some of the graphics are kind of cool. Um, but that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel and Accidental Retiree. I have about 283, 282 subscribers right now. Um, I was up to 284. It keeps waffling back and forth. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy my variety channel. Um, do subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're not and you're a subscriber, thanks for being loyal. Um, bye for now and God bless. See you soon.